Hey there ladies and gentlemen, KJ Andio is back and today I bring you a review of this digital camera I was sent and um, it's a low cost inexpensive camera that can be bought for under $50 and I will drop a link in the description down below back to Amazon where you can purchase it and basically it's a 16x digital zoom camera so it doesn't have an optical zoom don't expect the best results when using zoom it is also a vlogging camera you could use it as a webcam and it's 44 megapixels and 32 gig TF card support and it comes with a card it comes with two batteries so without further ado let's take it up a close look I'll show you all the functions and here we go here's a look at the box that the digital camera comes in one side of the box you'll see a barcode and some of the specifications another side of the box has manufacturing information included in the kit is a carrying case the camera digital camera user manual memory card adapter along with memory card, two different batteries, a USB wall adapter in addition to a USB cable and a lanyard. First let's check out the memory card and memory card adapter. The memory card adapter will fit in a standard SD card slot. The memory card they provide is 32 gigabytes. To install it in the camera just slide this forward and it springs open automatically. You want to install the memory card with the text facing the front of the camera. Drop it in the little slot, push into place. Next insert the battery with the text showing the specifications of the battery facing the rear of the camera. There's a little lever here. Just push against it and push down and it will lock into place. Next close the door and push it in. Let's take a look at the functions of the camera. On the front is your lens, then there's a light says 44 megapixels there's some kind of trim right there and then on the top you have a power button and a shutter button around the side you have a place where you could attach the camera strap or a lanyard on the other side you'll have a USB-C port looks like ventilation holes there's a screw here and there's also a couple screws on the other side on the bottom it says card slash bat has a little open there's a tripod mount, another screw right there. On the back side of the camera, you'll have your viewfinder and there is a indicator light right up at the top here. There's a W and T button to zoom in and out respectively. Below that, you have a four way kind of dial right here. You'll have up, down, left and right. Up turns the light on and off. Uh, some of these other buttons are specific to depending what mode you're on. There's a timer. There's a trash, and if you press to the right, it's a continuous shoot button. There's a mode selector button and a menu button. Let's turn on the camera, press the power button. Little blue light comes on. Welcome. There's also a protective film covering the screen. I'll go ahead and remove that. You can see in the previous screen, it's facing the manual. Let's take a look at the menu features. I'll press the menu button. First is image size. It defaults to 5 megapixel and it goes up to 44. And it will round robin. So you could go up and do it manually or just go down and it'll go to 44. Press OK for 44. Next one over, you could press the right button. Anti shake defaults to on. I'll leave it that way. Next is face detect defaults to on. Sure, I'll leave it there. Next we have smile capture. Not exactly sure what that is yet. I'll leave it on off. Then it has a whole bunch of different effects. Normal, black and white, a whole slew of different effects. After that you have the language. I'm going to leave it on English. Then you have the date. I'm leaving it on off. That way I don't have to worry about date stamps. And then you have auto power off. I have it set for 10 minutes. Next, there's the frequency in the United States at 60 hertz. Other parts of the world, it could be 50. Sound effect, I'll leave on. Format, so you could press up. Hit OK on OK. Format, yes. And it formats the memory card. Back to the menu. After that, you could go back to the default settings. I'm going to leave that alone. And that's about it. Welcome back everybody, that was a look at the digital camera I was sent, and by the way, I'm filming the intro and outro of the video using the camera, so you know what to expect. I'm in a 
not dark room, but not a light room by any means. I have this light behind me, and I have the blinds open in front of me, and there's no sunlight coming through. So it's kind of somewhat dark in here. And I just wanted to show you guys what that would be like. Also, I did go live and show you how it works as a webcam. So if you haven't seen that, go back to my last video. It was a live video using this camera as a webcam. So yeah. It is inexpensive, so don't expect it to perform like a Canon or a Nikon or an Olympus or anything like that. It's not like that. It is a low-cost solution for something you could take with you, and it's super lightweight and compact. And as far as uh, all my notes go, um, I like that it comes with the extras. It comes with two batteries, 32 gig memory card, the wrist strap not a bad deal at all and uh, up to 44 megapixel photo shooting and 1080p for video shooting i believe when it's used as a webcam it only does 720p but that's still not bad for someone who's just looking to get started it's a low cost solution this 16 times digital zoom works okay you could go like four steps in and it looks decent still but if you start going more than that things are going to look a little bit blocky and pixelated just the way it is with any digital zoom doesn't matter who makes it you know and I like that it has an LED light on the front in case the subject you're trying to film is not lighted enough oh yeah I forgot to mention and show you guys I did take some pictures with it I took some at my house here off the balcony and a couple others and I want to show you what they look like here they are So those are the pictures I took, and also, I like that it comes with a small carry bag. It's nice so that the lens doesn't get scratched up. It doesn't really have a lens cover. I mean, what do you expect for a camera that's under $50, you know? So I like that they give you that. It helps keep the lens clean. I also tested downloading images and video from the camera to my computer, and it definitely worked pretty quick with the USB-C. And I also love that it is USB-C and not micro-USB. I love when all products are USB-C. It is the, really the new standard. It's not really new, but it is kind of like the standard, the way I like it to be at least, you know? So really, that's about it. Also, make sure to check my description. I will have a link in there going back to Amazon where you can purchase the product. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, drop me a line below. I love hearing from you guys. And until next time, have a stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I'm KJ Andio, your host with the most. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.